we tend to think of exploration as walking across new terrain and planting a flag um, like the polar explorers of old. But it doesn't have to be that. It can also be intellectual. And actually, for most of history, our exploration of the universe beyond Earth has not been physical. It's been looking up at the stars. These are the Atlas Mountains in North Africa. According to Roman legend, they held the heavens above the Earth. and they're one of the finest places to come to view the stars. From a place like this, it's easy to appreciate the profound effect that the night sky would have had on our ancestors. You know, from a modern perspective, astronomy can seem remote and arcane because we've lost our connection with the night sky from from a city, you just don't see a sky look anything like this. From the darkness of the Atlas Mountains, it's really, truly majestic. So for our ancestors, the connection with the night sky would have been incredibly intimate. They looked into the skies to understand their place in creation, and the movement of the stars told them one thing, they were at the center of the universe. Up there is Polaris, the North Star, and it's almost exactly aligned with the Earth's spin axis, which means that as the Earth rotates, all the stars rotate through the sky around that point. So it looks for all the world as if the Earth is at the center of the universe and the stars rotate around it. And that's of course what the ancients thought for thousands of years. And why not? Because it's obvious, but wrong. To understand the Earth's real position in the solar system, we need to look at the one set of bodies that doesn't behave as predictably as the stars. Well, understanding the retrograde motion of Mars didn't come easy. That's why it took over 2,000 years to work out. But I'm going to explain it using a stick and some rocks. The key thing is that the Earth is not at the centre of the solar system. The Sun is. And the Earth and Mars go around it in almost circular orbits. So when Mars is viewed from the Earth, then it's seen on the sky. In fact, on the constellations of the zodiac. So as Mars orbits around and the Earth orbits around, then from that position, Mars will look like it's there on the sky. So Mars moves and the Earth moves in that position. And Mars moves in that direction across the sky. And again, in that position, Mars will be here. So you see it's moving in a straight line across the sky. But what happens when the Earth overtakes Mars? Then, look at the line of sight. Mars has moved back to there. It's reversed its direction, and it continues to do that until the Earth gets round to somewhere like there, and Mars is here, and then you see the line of sight means that it started moving that way again. So Mars has executed that strange looping motion on the sky because the Earth overtook Mars on the inside. And that's why the retrograde motion happens. Simple. Understanding the retrograde loops was one of the major achievements of early astronomy. It created the concept of the solar system and allowed us to build the first accurate maps of the planets and their orbits around the sun. 